Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do the series parallel with terminals tutorial, which is actually a very similar interface to the series parallel tutorial. So if you understand how to do that one, there's not really a lot new here except the problems are a little bit different. But I will illustrate this uh, briefly just to show you how to do it. So we'll go into that tutorial, and as you did in series parallel, there's a pretest to take. I'll skip that for right now. And then there's an introductory tutorial that teaches you the concepts um, about the effects of terminals on uh, series relationships on the website. So you have to look at that, um, but I'm going to skip that for right now. And once again, we have examples at the different levels. Um, so for example, um, there's one. And notice now we have some new things here. Um, this has a, a, a multimeter like you would use in a laboratory. And notice it's set to voltage here. It's measuring a DC voltage. That's what that means. And so the question is, does that change the series relationships? Well, the answer is actually no, because they're all in series, because all that does is measure the voltage here. It doesn't draw any current. For at least for an ideal voltmeter, the current drawn would be negligible. And so that's um, going to be the same as if the voltmeter wasn't there. And of course, you can get a detailed explanation of that if you wish. OK. Um, and showing another example there. Um, now it's actually set uh, a little differently. Now notice the multimeter is set to read resistance or ohms here. And that's also symbolized by this RN symbol. On the, the, uh, the second level, um, you won't see the actual meter shown. It'll just be the RN, which is sort of a schematic to indicate that. And it's a more common way of indicating that on a circuit diagram. And you may remember how a meter works. Well, it has to force current, for example, and measure voltage, or force voltage and measure current. So either way, there is current flowing through these uh, leads. And therefore, this does have an effect on the series relationships. So here, these items are in parallel, being connected to the same pair of nodes. But they are actually not in series. That's why they're in yellow like that, because of the effects of these terminals. And it explains that here. So that's just a couple of examples. And again, you can get more detailed explanation if you need it. Um, so let's just work a problem. So I'll work one here at the easy level. And in this case, we have um, what you might call a blob. It's basically just an arbitrary subcircuit that can contain any number of circuit elements that are linear, that are arranged, actually, they could even be nonlinear, arranged in any fashion you like. It just all we know is that it has two terminals. So by Kirchhoff's current law, we know whatever current goes in through here must come out through here. And now the question is, what's in series in parallel? Well, are these th things still in parallel? Well, let's find out. Actually, they're going to be because they're still connected to the same pair of nodes, regardless of this. So they are in parallel. Um, but are they in series? Well, we could try that and say they're in series. But it's actually going to tell us no, they're not, because current will flow, generally, through this circuit, um, as long as there's some sort of source out here. And there certainly could be. So in general, those things are not likely to be in uh, series. So that would be incorrect. And in fact, that's all there is to do. So there's no more sets. And we're done with that problem. And then, um, then here's one with the input resistance. And again, we know these things are going to be in parallel. Um, and we just click on them as, as usual. Um, they're not in series because of the meter. And so it would be incorrect to tell it that. And so I'll just uh, be done. And then the third type of problem here would actually be with a voltmeter. In this case, they're all going to be in series because the voltmeter doesn't affect series relationships, because it doesn't draw any current, unlike the arbitrary subcircuit or the ohm meter, which does draw current. So this thing functions differently depending on how you have it set. And so if we check that, it says yes, in fact, those are all in series. And of course, we're done there. So you'd have to work several problems at that level. Um, then at the uh, median level, Again, it's the same basic interface, and we have the same basic thing. It's just shown a little bit differently. And there are, of course, more complex problems, but the same idea uh, applies. So for example, these two things, you can say, um, are they in parallel? Well, yes, they're, they're in parallel. Um, these two things are going to be in parallel. And um, now these two, however, are those in series? Well, if you think about it, because that's an arbitrary subcircuit, there's certainly a possibility that current could flow through there in either direction. And therefore, those things are not in series. So if we tried to say that, it's going to tell us, no, that's not right. Okay. Um, but on the other hand, these two things are in series because they don't have a common node connected to an arbitrary subcircuit. So they are still in series. Um, and that would be pretty much it for this uh, circuit. And again, we could get a detailed explanation if we need to. Um, 
and then the other problems are very similar, so I'm not going to go through any more examples, but that basically would be what you need to do is work all those problems. Um, anytime you can give up, again, with no penalty as always, and it will just show you what you didn't find. And uh, these two are in parallel, but not in series. They are connected to the same two nodes, but they're not in series. In fact, that's actually a, a hinged circuit, if you think about it, because they're separated from the rest of the circuit by a single wire. So, okay, um, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to exit that. And you just have to complete both levels, take the post-test, and please then give us some comments on the survey, and we would appreciate that. Thank you very much.